Hey guys, Gwilas here from Surfshark. When using a VPN, you might experience slower internet speeds. This happens because a VPN uses some of your internet data to encrypt your online activities. But here are four easy ways to increase your internet speed and stability. Today, I'm using a Mac computer, but you can do this on any device. First and foremost, let's open up the Surfshark app. Next, let's click on the Locations tab. Usually, the fastest server is the one that's closest to your geographical location. So to increase speeds, try nearby countries. VPN speed also depends on how busy your server is. Locations with lower load will be faster. You can check how busy the server is by looking at this bubble right here next to every location. What is also really cool is that you can favorite your locations by clicking on the star icon here. Once you favorite it, it will appear at the top of the list, making it easier for you to find and connect to later. So to get the best speeds, use the nearest server with the least server load. Another step that you can take to increase your internet speed is by changing your VPN protocol. Simply head to the settings tab, scroll down, click on protocol. Now usually WireGuard and IKEV2 are the fastest, but I would highly recommend also trying OpenVPN unless those two don't help you very much. Note that you can choose any of these protocols without compromising your security. Tip number three on our list is disabling interfering apps. Using file sharing apps or downloading stuff might result in slower speeds or lag. So temporarily disable these and see if that helps with your connection speed. In my case, I will disable Dropbox because it might be using some of my internet traffic. Tip number four on our list is to try using our web extension instead of the app. This might result in faster speeds because the extension only encrypts your browser traffic. Surfshark extension is available on Chrome, Firefox, and Edge browser. If you are already on the web extension, then try using the app instead. The final step that you could take is to restart your router. Routers are like small computers. If they overheat, they might throttle. So restart it and see if that helps with your connection. Thanks for watching. If none of these tips work for you, remember, you can always contact your customer support team. If you want to learn more about Surfshark, subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on another video to keep watching.